Hey, yo, we're at Laguna Cocha, a very less touristy spot than a lot of the other places that we've been here in Peru. It's a nice hike about four miles with 1,210 feet of elevation gain. Just a little bit windy, so it has been hard to chat with you guys along the way. <laughs> so yesterday we went to Salineras, which is an actual Incan salt mine from way back in the day. It's a really, really interesting site. Not very touristy, and we went on a hike there, which was a good introduction for us into this hike. After we went on the hike with Rob, we split up and we found a really nice free campsite. We have a couple of more hikes planned this week. A thousand feet elevation gain isn't the simplest hike, but it's a good introduction. We're gonna, you know, work our way up to some harder hikes, to some really, really cool stuff this week. And Danny found them all for us, so thank you very much, Danny. All of these hikes are in the sacred valley of Peru. So there are just ruins everywhere. There's beautiful peaks. It's just an incredible part of the world. And I'm so glad we spent the extra time to explore it. ¿Qué escuchas? Sendero. Ready to head up this pass? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is honestly all I really wanted to do in Peru. I just wanted to go down a trail and see some ruins that no one no one really goes to see, but you can just feel the ancient footsteps that were taking place here, and it's just really, really awesome. Cheers! What a place to have lunch! So, uh, so you think we better leash her up? Uh, yeah, lots of sheep and llamas, alpacas. What are these guys? Let's check them out. So we made it back to the van. That was a super great hike. It's so amazing having our home up here at 14,000 feet. I wasn't as tired out with the hike as I thought I would be. That's good news for the hikes that we're deciding on doing this week. We have to go and find a shower. So we're going to head into Pisac. Found a shower for six soles each, which is three dollars for the both of us to take a shower. Yeah, pretty good. It's at a hostel. I'm bad. See you later. Okay. <laughs> nice. We have made our way down the Sacred Valley a little more to do another beautiful hike here in Oya and Taitambo. The hike is called Intipunku. It's about 12 miles long. And all trail says it's 7,000 feet of elevation gain. Seems like a lot, huh? This hike has really incredible views of Apu and Veronica. We're staying on outside of a nice little restaurant in Oya y Taitambo. Not really in the city, more nature spot. We've stopped here at Mirador Descanso. All the way up there has just been in really incredible views of Veronica. We actually brought that water filter that Emily got me for Christmas. <laughs> I love that thing. It's super cool because instead of like pumping, you're just using a squeeze action for force, which is much easier on the body. And because of that, we can carry a lot less weight since this hike is all in the sun. And actually the last spot to fill water will be up here in a moment, about halfway through the hike. And it's an old Incan canal. So that's going to be sweet to drink out of that. In addition to the canal, there's actually going to be some ruins up here that nobody ever really visits. If we make it all the way to the end, it's going to be this epic sun gate with mountains right behind it. So we got a ways to, to go up, but even if we don't make it all the way, we'll see some ruins. Um, this is actually the quarry where they cut the stones for the Oyandaitambo ruins. We 
still have a long way to go up to the top, so I just jogged up here to the Incan quarries. I guess this is where they got the stones. And I assume they must have just kicked them down the hill for a while. Let it roll down there. <laughs> What a monster hike. We didn't expect to be getting here so late, but we made it. And that is much better than a gym. We're gonna have to stay a while, because there's a huge mountain right there, and I really wanna see it. Fortunately, there's another path down, and we got some lights down this valley, this near valley. Boom, look at that, easy quick downhill, but it's time for some much needed break. Sombrita doesn't want to take a break, she wants to keep going. We're hoping that help it helps make the fog go away. <laughs> wow, whenever we started this, I thought we'll probably just go for a nice walk up to some nice point. Probably won't make it the whole way. <laughs> I can't believe we made it. Well, I guess those cuddlings worked. <laughs> I think you can see the van right by that bridge. Left foot, right foot. <laughs> like... Danny only wanted to walk back at night because he heard that Kui is more active at night. So he wanted to try and catch himself one, right? good to be back in the van my little home is such a perfect place i can't think about anything besides making food though because that was a very long hike we got this artisan bread from pisak it's all from sourdough so it's super duper tasty and we're gonna make our favorite snack before our big post hike dinner mm -hmm. this snack is also perfect because it doesn't require any cooking because we are out of propane, as you can tell, because of the camp show. <laughs> wow, what a spot to wake up in the van. <laughs> Got him! Because <laughs> these dogs are not very nice. <laughs> We've been trying to do a lot of really cool hikes this week and I'm super excited about our progress. Making our way from a hike that wasn't very hard all the way up to yesterday which was 
really hard. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the Sun Gate as much as I did. It was such a beautiful place. The spot that we stayed for the last couple of days has been really nice. The owner is really friendly. The bathrooms are really clean. The showers are cold. That's the only thing. We've enjoyed our time here. It's very quiet besides the Machu Picchu train going by every once in a while. <laughs> and it only costs four dollars a night. But wow, my legs are sore, so let's go take a nice drive. Instead of walking super far for really nice views, we're gonna go and take a drive for some nice views. But before that, we're gonna head to a market to resupply for some food. market that we got a bunch of different fruits and veggies we even let some Brita wear her backpack that she wore yesterday on the hike all of the sweet little uh, merchant ladies loved some Brita after the market we headed over to our favorite bakery in the town which has sourdough bread So this is how we do it when we have the gutter ponus. I hold this, Danny pours it in. Easy peasy lemon squeezies. A little pricey around here, like three or four dollars for this five gallons. We're leaving the Sacred Valley and heading up into a side valley called the Lares Valley. Should be a really beautiful drive. Everybody says it's picturesque, peaks, passes, and hot springs at the end. on this little side trip we've done. I think we finally know the difference between llamas and alpacas. 
There are definitely more alpacas because they have softer fur. They have short snouts and shorter length bodies and llamas have the longer snouts and longer bodies. <laughs> it was a really beautiful drive at first and then we got to the town and there's really only like three roads in the town so the main square is under construction and then we tried to get down to where the hot springs are gonna be and soil in the road so we tried to go an alternate route that they set up in the alternate route of course there's also a detour so we made it to the end of the alternate route to the end of the detour and we can't get by. I kind of feel like just writing off the whole thing now. The detour was like so skinny on a cliff. A taxi came. Oh. Luckily, I was able to convince him to back up. He didn't have to back up that far. I would have had to back up along the cliff super far. He was on his phone too. Danny even like jumped out and started running down the road. And the guy was like, oh no, you have to back up. And Danny was like, no man nothing signaled at all we picked up a hitchhiker guy that wasn't even really hitchhiking we just asked him if he knows where to go he said oh i was there to let you know that there's no way through i said dude you were 10 meters away i drove a kilometer why don't you put it at that turn and there were like rocks in the road and stuff we just hit one so i think what we're gonna have to do Emily, is uh if you can go to the back and you can be my eyes oh get out no i can't see anything because there's no light all right now i can see oh my gosh I think we've backed up about a kilometer now. And there's stuff like this I have to dodge. Emily's up in there. Should be almost there. That guy, knowing that we didn't know where we were heading, took us down the road that we're having to back up now. So we're not really feeling the love here, but I think we found the hot springs and hopefully they'll make up for it tomorrow. It was like over a kilometer reversing up the hill. I'm not thinking straight because I'm super hungry. I've been hungry for like two hours and just... Let's head to the hot spring. So we followed these stairs up from the hot springs. They don't seem well traveled. What do you see? Oh my gosh. They look like femurs. <laughs> it said this is an Incan tomb. Yeah, I think I think it's true. This looks like an Incan tomb. Are you gonna touch the bones? No. This reminds me of that time you thought you found a skull and it was a coconut. Sure. You sure these are bones? They're definitely bones. Yeah, maybe we should go back the other way. Nice little side hike. We're back from the hot springs. That was a nice little dip we had. Now we have to take that Howering Road back to uh, the main dirt road. <laughs> Danny has come up with the idea to use the drone so that we can see if someone's coming. It's only one lane and there's really not many places to turn around. Okay, looks like nobody's on the road that I see so far. This road is so skinny along a cliff. I mean, it looks like nobody's coming for quite a ways. Wow, look, it goes along that edge right there. Mm. Yeah, but it looks all clear at the moment, right? Yeah. So I'm watching the drone to make sure no one's coming. And if anyone does come, we're gonna just park. We'll pull over and park in a wide spot. Well, this would be a good spot to stop if there was a car. Where are we on here? We're like over here. We're right there. Oh, yeah, we fell yeah. Oh, thank goodness we're done. <laughs> that road was so stressful last night. I got it? Mm hmm Another day, another drone shot. <laughs> Thank you.
okay, before we leave, let's do a little coke of blessing and thankfulness for the wind. Let's see how crazy this wind is. Good morning. I hope you've enjoyed going around the Sacred Valley with us, checking out all these little known places. One last hike to end off the series today. We're gonna have a guest star, Graham the Cat, coming on the hike with us. So this hike is up above Urubamba in a side canyon, side valley here. The reviews on All Trails and iOverlander is that this is the most amazing hike people have ever done in their lives. You know, it's hard to describe why that would be, but I think we're about to find out. This is the Pumawanka Valley Trail, and we're just gonna head steadily uphill, about 2,500 elevation, and I think you can just go as far as you want, really. So, if we would keep going, this would go to the hot springs of yesterday, <laughs> up and over the mountains. Let's get going. This hike is just going up and up. Cat's doing great, dog's doing great, but tale is there's a village up here, which really makes you wonder because obviously there's no power, no internet, no sewer. I wonder how do these people poop and how do they Instagram? break in the dense forest and just a beautiful little valley we came to. Graham is pretty vocal so we know when he wants to get into the bag and out of the bag. He usually will just stop or lay down or meow if he wants to go in. Whenever he wants to get out of the bag he'll meow, start to put his legs out and then I'll kneel down. But he's a really good hiker. He went pretty far without me touching him or anything and he was doing really, really well, but he gets tired pretty fast. He does not like to touch wet ground. He really would prefer to stay in the shade as well. So right now he's sitting in his backpack in the shade. You kind of have to give him a spot where he can sit down where he's comfortable. Uh, the other thing is he does not like to be pressured by the jog. <laughs> so we try and keep them separate. So Brita is usually first, either me or Danny, Graham, and then me or Danny again, so that we can keep the dog away from Graham and Graham can walk at his own pace. He's, I think he's really loving it. I mean, he can look out at the llamas too, which is super cute. <laughs> so a couple people just walked by with a guide, which makes us feel pretty accomplished when we don't need one. <laughs> we can figure out the trail on our own. But they just said that there is a waterfall coming up. So let's go check it out. As a kid, I used to live out by a lake With lightning bolts, collecting sticks and secret handshakes I was invincible then My heart so pure I had no fear And those were the years That I hold so dear and it felt so right Having you by my side I would never waste your time Or mine Do you ever think about the time When we were young Everything we dreamt of before 
getting up in here. I'd like to see what that canyon looks like above this waterfall. Whoa, there's actually a bathroom up here? That is so nice of whoever built that. I guess they can Instagram up here. just for us. Ram, let's not go down yet. Thanks, buddy. I'm just calling this Turtle Rock. next time for some more epic Peruvian adventures. If you like this video, let us know in the comments, like and subscribe. And if you want to support us a little bit more, head over to our Patreon and join the family. See ya!